With TT, you can enhance Autospreader's unmatched power and speed with a full range of customizations available through Autospreader rules. You can use rules provided by TT or create your own rules to customize Autospreader's quoting and hedging logic, as well as managing hedge orders that do not immediately fill. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create your own customized version of a TT supplied Autospreader rule using the Autospreader rules editor. TT's liquidity based back off tick rule checks the liquidity at the lien price in the hedge leg before placing the hedge order. If the number is above a certain threshold, this may signal that the price is about to change and our rule will back the hedge order off one tick in hopes of attaining a better price. We may also want to back off a tick when sending a hedge order if the bid ask spread is greater than one tick. Rather than giving up more than a tick edge on a hedge order, you may want to place your order one tick away and establish the first order in queue at that price. To accomplish this, we can create our own version of the TT provided liquidity based back off tick rule. We will start by launching the auto spreader rules widget and creating a copy of the TT liquidity based back off tick rule. We can then click the edit icon and provide a name for our rule custom liquidity based back off tick. We'll also adjust the description to describe the behavior of our logic. We have radio buttons to indicate if we want our rule to affect the quoting logic, the hedging logic, or the management of hedge orders that do not immediately fill. We will leave the pre-hedge setting in place as this rule will still determine the placement of the hedge order into the market. Underneath, we have a logic tab. The top portion is where the user enters a conditional statement. The bottom section is the action auto spreader will take if the condition is met. We also have a tab for custom variables which will create fields in the auto spreader configuration menu into which we can enter specific values to be used by the logic of our rule. We construct our conditional statement on the logic tab. We access properties for the leg to which the rule is applied by using the notation this leg period property name and can then use arithmetic and logical operators to construct a statement. Now, it's important to note that auto spreader rules are always written from the perspective of a buy order. So our assumption is that the hedge order will be a bid. When auto spreader determines where to place the buy hedge order, it would need to check the liquidity of the offer. So auto spreader rules looks at this leg and the property ask quantity. This rule can also be used for a sell hedge order as well, in which case we would need our rule to substitute bid quantity for ask quantity. We can flip for sell by adding curly braces around a property or an operator, which will use its opposite for a sell hedge order. We have a greater than or equal to operator, which is comparing our ask quantity to our custom variable quantity threshold. On our custom variable tab, we can see our quantity threshold variable. Our default value is set to 250, a minimum value of one and a maximum value of 100,000. Let's change our default to 100. Back on the logic tab, we can see the action to be taken if the condition is true defined in the then section. Because our rule is set to pre-hedge, we are provided action options to be applied to the hedge order. Our action is setting the hedge order price. For our action, we are again accessing the properties of this leg in order to calculate the hedge price backed off one tick. We subtract the minimum price increment from the calculated hedge price. As above, we are using curly braces around our operator for flip for sell. When it's time to place our hedge order, besides checking the liquidity in the market, we would also like to see if the inside market is more than one tick wide. Let's add this additional condition. We will subtract the bid price from the ask price and see if the difference is more than one tick. We right click in the conditional area of the rules editor and select add or condition. We begin to type this leg and are provided IntelliSense options, which we can click to select. After typing a period, we are presented with the properties available for this leg. We select ask price. We will use a subtract operator followed by this leg's bid price in order to get the difference in price. We will use a greater than operator to compare this difference to this leg's minimum price increment. If this condition is true, auto spreader rules will back the hedge order off one tick. Now finished, we click apply and save. Now we go to our spread configuration menu and apply our custom liquidity based back off tick rule. We make sure that the rule is applied to both legs and can see our new default threshold of 100. We click apply and save and then launch our spread. Now, when we buy the spread, once our quoting order fills, our rule sees that the liquidity in the market is below 100, which does not meet our first condition, but it does see that the inside market is more than one tick wide 
and therefore backs the hedge order off one tick. As you can see, AutoSpreader Rules gives you out-of-the-box flexibility to customize the various behaviors of AutoSpreader, and TT gives you the power to copy and edit those rules to customize AutoSpreader as you desire. For more information, visit tradingtechnologies.com.